Hello everybody, this is Crypto Grandma coming at you live. Uh, we just got a, a new Fed report out. And the news, uh, there was nothing shocking. And so I wanted to let you know why crypto is pumping. Uh, because the Fed came out, they didn't make any decisions. They just really told us everything's still the same and of course they're gonna they may even consider tightening early if uh, interest rates don't go down there's still supply chain issues you know really just uh basically more of the same nothing new and as per that news crypto is pumping as you can see so this is uh, fantastic it should have an a really positive effect on uh, the S&P. Uh, you know, I mean, really, it's consolidating, but it's consolidating higher than lower. Uh, it's not pumping yet. So, let's look at the markets. Starting to green up a little. There we go. That's a much better view. Uh, so yeah, we've got a pump on the S and P up uh, fourteen percent. All right. So this is great. I don't see anything else happening the rest of the week that's uh, going to stop uh, the S and P from either stabilizing or moving up. And, uh, you know, it's, it's good. It's good news. I think everything should be okay. Unless of course the conflicts in the Ukraine, um, it, you know, as long as that state remains, uh, where it's at and they don't cross the line and start fighting. Uh, it's Wednesday, hump day, happy hump day. Uh, we have, you know, to the rest of today, which looks like it's, of course, going to be good. And honestly, I think the only thing that could bring the market down now is uh, the conflicts over uh, in Russia. So uh, you'll have to keep your eye on that if... You invested in something risky during this pump. Just keep your eye on the geopolitical news. It's really important right now. But I even charted Ave because Ave is pumping, as you can see. So uh, this is looking good. You know, I, I don't chart it if if I don't even know what's happening. So finally, we've got uh, good news, as you can see. Um, Let's look at the Bitcoin chart. Bitcoin's looking good. Still in the upper part of the column and following the line I drew. And let's see what ETH is doing. ETH is looking good. Okay, so ETH is moving into uh, the pink circle. That's the best news we could have. Uh, and uh, this is the uh, the one day chart. So, you know, hopefully tomorrow we have, we should for the rest of the week, we should have candlesticks within this, uh, this pink circle. And like I said, unless the, the geopolitical scene turns ugly. So you've got to pay attention to that. Watch your news. If you're doing anything risky at all, you need to really watch that, but it's a little bit of a gamble right now. Um, back over looking at X2, Y2, it is coming down like I thought it would right below this uh, green line. So that's acting perfectly within uh, what it should be doing. And, you know, I'm hoping, I'm going to try, I'm hoping, of course, that it goes all the way down to under three dollars then i'll buy some uh, because the overall uh trajectory for this coin looks very good 
and uh, let's look at ether scan just to see the other thing on this coin that I would like to see is that holders go up um, maybe above uh, 14 uh, 50 but 1421 is what the holders are at right now um, so that's looking pretty good if you want to know about this project uh, here's the official site um, this is what the uh, this is what the exchange looks like I looked at some of these NFTs they don't look great these are cute doodles I saw some people using them actually in a chat today when I was uh, looking at um, you know listening to the FOMC information so uh, the doodles that's kind of new AV Yacht Club I wasn't too impressed with those I don't know why they're number one but they are um yeah so I really you know and also it looks like X2Y2 is going to release their own collection of NFTs to like uh, official collection coming soon agent youth rebels oh maybe this is just a new nft coming i don't really know how to read this site yet but you know i don't think this is going anywhere uh it looks it looks like it's a solid project um i like how it's set up you can you know easily see everything now there's going to be a lot of nfts that are not in here so you know it's not going to replace OpenSea by any means but uh i just kind of wanted to show you the project just because it looks like a solid project um it's performing how you think it should it doesn't look like a rug pull at this point um that would be my main concern with the new coin like i said if you didn't here in my last video this coin just came out on february 14th and uh it's got an upward trajectory right now and uh, i'm waiting for this price to come down uh it does hover a lot right around three dollars uh, but i'd like it to fall well below three dollars i'm hoping <laughs> i might not get that lucky uh i could have bought in this morning but i was hesitant i just uh you know since it's it's so new um i really wanted to see better price action and i figured if the price already fell uh this morning it fell uh right about 3 a.m um and right uh up until five o'clock a.m it fell and then it pumped ever since then and now it's uh, falling again which was to be expected if my lines were right and i didn't change the lines but they are you know you can see this little spindle here it's a green spindle um but usually that indicates a a price direction change and it is changing um but will it go low enough you know we should see a few more candles down i'm hoping at least um and i'll be ready to buy in once it drops drops down uh below three if at all possible it's very strange because uh you know people that their psychological um you know for for passing a, a three dollars you know going below it or above it is going to be a psychological um game if you will and on a new coin everybody's kind of nervous uh, but i would say overall the market looks really good so this coin could really pump uh and you could make some money uh, i probably won't invest a whole lot but i thought it might be kind of fun and uh, i might invest a couple hundred two three hundred dollars you kind of have to invest a little bit if you want to make money um but like i said i'm i'm waiting for it to drop anyway that's what's going on in the market that's why you know the market fell this morning and now it seems to be pumping and i just uh wanted to kind of let you know why is because the 
FOMC news came out. It didn't look like there was anything shocking in it. And this is a market that wants to pump. So this market wants its last, you know, bull run, uh, the end of the bull run. And it's trying so hard to get it. And we're going to keep watching it every day for the next couple of weeks. But, you know, they're giving us a lot of clues about what's going to happen. So we know there's going to be a, a interest rate hike in uh, mid-March. We don't know if it's going to be a quarter or 0.5. Uh, either one seems to have benefits like 0.25 won't scare everyone, but 0.5 will deal with inflation better. So somewhere in there, we know it's coming. And when we're not shocked, the market doesn't dip as much. It's always going to react and negatively, more than likely, on the 15th. But if it ends up being, what will happen is it'll dip probably on the 10th until the 15th. And then when they come out and say, oh, we're going to raise interest rates to 0.25 or 0.5, either way, whichever one they do, it'll dip down quickly and then it'll shoot back up and uh, you know we we are anticipating a bear market i just don't know how long it's going to take for the bear market to come into play because you know we're going to have we're going to have to quell the fire and so we we can't really go into a bull market like we wanted to. So, you know, the market will probably taper down after, you know, by, by the first or second rate hike, I would imagine that people will mellow out and we could go into a bear market at that point. I don't see any pumping action because there's just going to be bad news about inflation for a while throughout the rest of this year and into at least mid 2023 we are just going to get uh interest rate hikes we don't know how many but it's it's going to be difficult news and they're going to try to soften it as much as possible but they have to take action so and that means that we have to mellow the market out you know we just don't want huge drops like we had so um so yeah i'm hoping to get one more pump like i said let's get one more pump let's finish the right shoulder and i'm good with you know going into a bear market and having consolidation and having prices go down and everything like that so and that's what i'm going to be buying so that's what i'm looking for then but right now i'm looking for a pump for the next two two and a half weeks let's get a pump and uh that might be our final final pump so all right everybody take care we'll talk to you later